nah I know the plan is aligned, this shit be cosmic But what's a retrograde to a renegade in the projects? My mindset is to avoid most nonsense And don't comment on issues that I don't vibe with What's up with it? It's your boy Noonie It's Leo in the third house And we back with another reading Yo, what's up with it? This your boy Noonie And it's Leo in the third house Back with another reading this is going to be another pick a card reading. We're going to be asking the question, how do they feel about you? So I recorded this video like at least six months ago, back in August 2023. And this was like around my after I got the accident. So I was just like, you know, recording it. I would do little piles at a time. So you're going to notice that I'm in like different, either different areas or I just got like different outfits on, most likely. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, I did the pile. I did the pile selection. Like I was doing like the old format back then, y'all. So like, if you can't tell now, mostly I'll be doing lives, but I'm gonna be doing some more videos eventually. Um, you know, I'm just there's just some technical difficulties right now. I haven't gotten over yet, but when I figure it out, I'll do some videos too. Um, there's gonna be three piles. So if you're new to pick a card, which I kind of doubt, but if you are, there's gonna be three piles. It's gonna be in the description box. Um, there's going to be a close up of the piles, so it's only three of them, but there's going to be a close up of the piles. Normally, I do four if you're new here. Normally, I do four, but I just did three because you know I was just I was just doing readings like I would do like how do they feel about you? What do you need to know? And I would just like mix them up, and then I would just like finish them off, and I'd be like, oh, I just do another pile of this. I'll just do another pile of that, and then that's how I got. That's how I even got these readings even made up. I just had a bunch of like random, <laughs> random uh, you know topics that I did. And then I just put them together and made a video. So that's what you're looking at when I show you these readings. All right. So um, as always, thanks to those people who like, share, subscribe. Thanks to all those people who trusted me along the journey. Yeah, what's up with you? Thanks to all those people who just been, you know, checking in, checking in on my vibe. Um, yeah, that's about it, man. I ain't going to do too much talking, too much rambling. You know what I mean? So check out the work. Let me know how you did. I mean, how I did. You know what I mean? As always. I'm be in the comments with you. <laughs> All right, I'm gone. I'm about to uh, take you to the pile selection. All right, so boom, pile one. All right, so pile one. How do they feel about you? Ooh, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. This person feels like you have a public image status. This could be, for some of you, somebody from the past. All right. They feel like you have life goals, right? Or maybe that your life is a goal, or maybe that achieving you is a life goal. They could be feeling this way about you. They may feel like that you're on a mission, or they feel like they're on a mission. They respect you. This is how they feel about you. All right, this person feels like you're successful, or they feel like you'd make them successful. Yeah, this person feels like they're tired of doing a never-ending like story with you or tired of doing the same thing they want you to be flexible this is how this person feels or they want to be flexible themselves but i feel like they want you to be flexible all right this could be so because we have north node here this makes it a challenging connection a connection that's difficult it causes you to get outside your comfort zone it's not somewhere that you are used to be so this person wants you to take the lead all right, or they want you to allow them to take the lead. They don't want to waste time or energy with this connection. Now that may sound like it's harsh, but that could be like a Capricorn thing. Like they don't want to waste time. This is somebody who maybe is, if they're successful, or if they feel like you're successful, then they maybe realize like there's only a limited amount of time with you. You know what I mean? Because usually successful people are pretty busy. So they may be feeling that way about you. Like maybe you're very busy. You have a public image, you have status, you know, people know you, you know, you're being recognized or, Something of that sense. Could be dealing with the Aries. All right, this person is gonna be trying to keep it cool. So they feel like you're very cool, very easy to get. I was gonna say maybe very easy to get along with, but this one doesn't represent very easy to get along with. It actually comes off as very assertive. All right, slightly aggressive. All right, but still again, adaptable shows up again, twice. So they feel like you're very adaptable, like your mind change. Oh yeah, you change your mind often. Yeah. So they feel like they have to adapt to you. Maybe that's mood swings, but they feel like you have to, they have to adapt to who you are. Like you change your mind often. They want to have a conversation with you. They want you to heal the situation and stop numbing it. So they feel like you've overcome challenges and you're coming back bigger, better than ever or stronger. They feel like you're very protective, like a papa bear, mama bear. You know what I mean? They feel like you're very protective. 
but you like to control things or you like to take things by like I was gonna say take life by the horns. So maybe you like to like be in the lead, be in charge, take things by the horn. Yeah, they want to take the lead, but they're also wanting you to take the lead. So they feel like it's just bad timing at this time, or like wires get crossed, or like, or like they don't really know you. Like maybe you're unapproachable. So maybe you come off like stern. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with a. Leo Aquarius, Scorpio Taurus, but it's usually Sagittarius, so it could be. They could also be feeling like it, they, they've had bad luck in this situation or things just aren't turning out in their favor, like they have no control, could be dealing with the Aries. Yeah, they, like they don't have no control or that you're very intimidating. So it could be really that. It could be also the fact that they feel like you're very intimidating because the high priestess and the emperor, this is somebody who maybe even feels like, they maybe even feel like you're too high up or like you're too successful or you have too much potential. You get what I mean? And it, it could come off as like Miss Big Miss Hotshot or Mr. Hotshot, you know what I mean? Like so it seems that way, and they just feel maybe not as fortunate. Cause the will of fortune is here in reverse. So they could feel maybe not as fortunate. They feel like they need to keep their eye on you. Or they need to see the situation differently. Like maybe they need to have a change of perspective. For some, they feel like they need to release this situation. Cause they have no control and things aren't turning out in their favor. So you could be dealing with the Libra Gemini Aquarius, you could be dealing with the Pisces. This is somebody who doesn't want to sacrifice their needs or doesn't really want to sacrifice the connection, but may. Got Capricorn again. So they feel like you're stable, but they also feel like you're closed off, like you're really reserved. They feel like you're not open to them. Like, so like you really come off very bossly or very much in charge. So this person may even feel like you don't like them. They may feel like they're not attractive because sometimes the high priestess in verse can be like not your usual type or it could be like not what society uh, expects of women but it could be it could be in men too but this is like what not uh, what society doesn't expect in women they could be a slightly little bit of taboo to it so maybe there's like a slight tinge of taboo to the connection like i don't know maybe you the status levels are, are too high or maybe or like you know what i mean there's like a big difference between status or sometimes i was going to even say age because we got an emperor who's like a, a usually an older older male like 50 60 not saying this person is 50 60 but usually they're an older male all right, and then we have the princess, or the pr which is a, a page. So a page is a very younger person, usually in their teens or their early 20s. So this person could be very young, or you could be very young, and they could be very old, or not very old, but just older, you know what I mean? Like noticeably older, possibly. And they could feel like you're not interested. Okay, that's kind of cool. What else? So this person feels like you have secrets that you're carrying on to. They can also feel like you're, I, I want to just keep saying bougie, like bougie, like you live this luxurious life of some sort. You know what I mean? Like you're always on the go or you're always feeling stuff. Maybe, maybe they like you dressed in orange or they like when you wear orange or they like when you wear form fitting clothes. That's how they feel about you. They feel like there's a lesson to this connection and that you guys are going on a journey and that possibly this relationship is a calling or that you're following your calling or that pursuing you is part of their calling. Something along the lines of that. They want you to lighten up or this person feels like they need to lighten up. They want the situation, yeah, and it's over top of the emperor in the four, in the four pentacles, which is like a closed off energy, my way or the highway type of energy. If you don't have as much as I have, mm -mm -mm, you know what I mean? Or if you're not doing it like I'm doing it. Mm -mm -mm. So it kind of comes up like this, like this person wants you to lighten up, you know, go wild in a sense, go crazy with them. You know what I mean? At least be more generous and more playful, you know, flirty, open hearted, you know what I mean? Charming. They want, they want to see more of that from you. Could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Cancer. So this person feels like they, like you need to relax or like they need to relax. Maybe they feel like their emotions are all over the place or they could even maybe feel like there's nothing really happening because sometimes with this new moon, it's usually a time where you assess plans. What would you like to happen? What would your next goal or destination be? So they can kind of be relaxing, maybe strategizing because we got the Page of Swords here. So maybe strategizing. Remember I told you they may be being nosy or keeping their eye on you. So they may be like just watching, looking, lurking, 
lurking maybe you know what i mean just kind of like playing it cool acting as if maybe they're not watching you know what i mean yep queen of swords there in reverse so yeah definitely acting detached acting a little aloof acting as if they're not as interested or like they don't see you or like they like they don't mind not hearing from you because we got swords here which is usually communication so they can maybe act like they don't mind hearing from you all right but i kind of get the vibe of this person wanting to possess you but just feeling like maybe you're out of their league or for some they could feel like maybe they're out of your league you know what i mean because status plays a part here all right and your ambition okay all right we did that we did that I think timing just plays a part or like un, like uncontrollable circumstances. This could be like distance. This could be like work, family, um, just regular circumstances. You know what I mean? But they do. Okay. So they want to cultivate something new. They want to cultivate either a stable foundation with you or they want to cultivate um, like new beliefs, which are just like the way they see the world. Because remember I told you with the, uh, with the, uh, the hangman in reverse. This is somebody who's desiring to see a situation differently. They're releasing an old paradigm, how they used to see themselves, how they used to see the world, possibly how they used to see the situation or yourself. Sometimes the judgment means that for me too as well in certain decks because it's like a vision, like they have like a vision to it. So like this person maybe wants to build stability because we have Taurus energy, this is Taurus here. They could be wanting to invest or they maybe feel like you take your time. Or they want to take their time like i think they're i want to say learn you or there's like there's like a learning curve to it so like they want to learn you all right yeah they want to take their time they want to learn you so they may be like going over plan yeah i really feel like they were being strategic because i even got revised here so they this person is maybe going over plans, maybe even revising what they thought they knew or like going back on what they what they thought they knew about you because the high priestess is here. And it's like, mm, like, you know, the high priestess is usually somebody that people don't know. They don't say a lot. They don't you don't really hear from that much. They're elusive, kind of like the Queen of Swords in reverse as well. They're elusive. You don't really hear too much about them or really hear too much from them. You don't really see them that often, which can sometimes be like the hermit, too. But. In this case, this is somebody that people know is very influential or highly sought after, but they're just not around. They're not often or easily catchable. So this is how they feel about you. Like you may be very possibly powerful or very influential or just somebody who's very popular. All right. And maybe you're not seen around as much because that's the vibe that it gives like lessons keep showing up like this person wants to learn you they want to know more about you but they feel like they just need to relax because right now things are not doing anything or they're not happening or maybe you know what i mean like that's what it is like things are not happening hmm so how do they feel about you there's emotions still what's, what's that saying still waters run deep this person could be, so they may feel like you're living a double life. Like you try to be perfect, but you indulge in addictive pleasures. So people could feel, or this person could feel like you live a double life. That you have toxic gatherings. Oh, so they feel like you still have a great body. Like your body is still in shape or like you still got it. So that's how they feel. They feel like you still got it. They just feel like. Like the timing is off. Yeah, timing is off. You know what I mean? It's, it's like unforeseen changes or changes that happen that they're not like, there's other variables that are involved in this situation is what's going on. And there's an issue of wanting to take the lead or wanting you to take the lead. You know what I mean? It's like a fear of like being in charge or like moving forward. So like maybe you guys are, maybe they're very powerful in like, Maybe they also have status and all that. And maybe that's what it is. But maybe there's like a, a difference between the status. You know what I mean? And they're afraid to take the lead because maybe you come off as like very, in, 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 uh, very intimidating or very in charge or very like a boss and only wanting things your way and not really willing to compromise because the, the emperor versus somebody who's not willing to compromise. They could even feel like maybe conquering you or like it's too difficult or they could be just trying to figure out how to conquer you. Because sometimes the Emperor Universe can be a conqueror. 
you know, so they could be thinking about that, trying to get like insight because we got adaptability and revision. So this could be like making plans, strategizing, asking questions, getting curious, watching, spying, you know what I mean? Sometimes this could even be like trying to like say things in a way that get under your skin to get a reaction. So they could even be trying to like test your temperature in ways like that. They feel like you still got it though, because that body is showing. So you must have a nice body. Hmm. For some, like I said, even if you're older, because the guy looked like he got gray hair. So maybe even if you're older, this could be like you having a great body. That's a big thing for them here. All right. So I think I did all those cards. So anyway, let's give you some advice. They do want to pursue you though. They feel like you have potential, a lot of potential to be in charge or to have like fame, success, or a lot of like achievements. Like maybe you're an overachiever in some way. So that's how they feel about you. Anyway, here's your advice. Prayer, dear guardian angel, to you I pray. When I'm fearful, help me remember that only love is real. When I'm lost, help me find my way. When I'm confused, help me to regain clarity. When I feel lonely, help me to feel your loving presence. Where I perceive chaos, help me to see order. Thank you. So that's your advice for that. So let me go over signs one more time. We got Capricorn, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer. I think that's all the signs. I think that's all the signs. Except for Virgo, but Virgo is in here. I just didn't call it out. But Virgo is in here, so I think that's all the signs. Did I skip any? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, said that. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, said that. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, yeah, said that. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, said that. So that's all of them. All right. So, Pa 1, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nui, and it's Leo in the third house. All right. So, pile two. Boom. <laughs> All right. So, pile two. How they feel about you? So, how do they feel? Could be done with the Gemini. Could be done with the Virgo. They think about you, but they feel that all will be well. All right. They trust in you. All right. Person's been thinking about a situation. Mm, sometimes I think of Virgo as a problem solver and Gemini together. This has been cured energy. Yeah, so they could also be thinking that there are things hidden between you or something is limiting you guys. Maybe talking, because Gemini is a talking energy. Virgo is a analyzing what you said. So maybe they feel like they need to like pay attention to what you've said, maybe in the past because the 12th house is here. They could be feeling sorry. Or feeling like they need to follow their intuition or they could have fears around following their intuition because the 12th house is a fears house of fears i think they have limited beliefs they could also feel like they have to sacrifice or like they have to sacrifice their needs so maybe they feel like they have to sacrifice their needs to be in this relationship or this connection could be done with the cancer they could feel like they're loyal to you or they could feel like you're loyal to them like there's loyalty here so it's one of the one of the two ways there but you're a comfort zone, all right? You're very healing, very nurturing. You're a caretaker or a caregiver. So they could be seeing you as this type of person, all right? Someone who's very chatty, that's how they feel. Like you're very chatty, very talkative, very wise, very analytical, yep. You're responsible. They also feel like it's time to go or like you're on, on go. They feel like they were fated to meet you though. 12 houses here, that's a soulmate bond. That's also part of a collective bond. So we have like, uh, I'm not gonna say a past life, but we have like a connection. So that's how they feel. Like you guys have a connection that feels very familiar, all right? So they feel like you handle responsibilities very well. They could feel like maybe you need to clean up or like you clean a lot, one or two. They feel like you're fast or very quick to like start new beginnings or start over. Yeah, they feel like you'll leave and you're, and you're very quick to start over. 12 houses here about beginnings and endings. So they either be, feel like you're leave and start something brand new or you're not afraid to end situations quickly. So it's one of those, like you're very responsible. 
but they also feel like you're not very much seen or like you deal in, deal in an area where they don't really see you that much. But I kind of feel like they don't see you that much. Hmm. At the same time, I want to say they want to come to your house. I did want to say that. So maybe they want to come to your house. They can feel like you're very independent. Could be done with the Leo, could be done with the Virgo. And you have a lot of solutions. It's just stable. Yeah, they feel like, okay, so they feel like you don't like to listen to what other people say. Or you don't like, like to listen to what they tell you. So like maybe this is, I don't really, well, cancer here. With cancer energy, they may feel like you have a lot of emotional depth, but you don't like to listen maybe to other people's feelings. Or you don't like to listen to other people's judgments or other people's criticisms. You know, when other people say things to you, you're just going to do your own thing. So that's how they feel. Yeah, they feel like you're very tenacious, though, and very protective. Either of the people you love or your feelings of your heart. Yeah, that's how they feel. Stable, man. They, they think about your stability. They think about your stability. They, they feel like they need to, they want to invite you. That's what I was going to say. They want to invite you somewhere. But they also feel like it's time to go. Like maybe this situation is ending. That it's not going to go anywhere or that it's not happening or... But it's like they're leaving to go find a solution to get a new beginning with you. You know what I mean? They feel like you're, you're generous and that you have a great voice or that love is all around you. So maybe they could feel like you have other options. Like you have a lot of, uh, oh yeah, 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 definitely. Because if they feel like you leave situations very quickly and you always have new beginnings, they feel like you have other options. All right? They could feel like maybe you're very generous and you'll sacrifice for other people, but you tend to isolate a lot. All right? You have great intuition. Yeah, you have great intuition and you see things that others don't see. You're very protective and you have familiar ties. So that's like a family person. So like they see you as a catch. I'm going to say that. They see you as a catch, but they feel like you have love all around you. And that makes you maybe act, I don't know, hasidity? Maybe that makes you act hasidity. Maybe you have a big family. That might be it. Or you have like always have people who care about you around. That might be part of it too. But they really feel like you're faded. And they were like you were fated to be in their life, or they were fated to meet you, or fated to be a part of, of like whatever. It says, "Damn, they fucked around and caught feelings for you. Now they don't want to be without you." That's how they feel. So they care about you. They caught feelings, and they don't want to be without you. They can feel like you've entangled them in some type of web, or entangled them into some type of uh, some type of situation, where now all they do is think about you. You know what I mean? But they also are like trusting that things will work themselves out. They don't know how because the 12 houses here. They don't know how, but they have a feeling that things will work themselves out. So they may feel like you work a lot then. Or yeah, like you're very responsible. It's one of those two. It's somewhere along the lines of that. Yeah, it says everything would be balanced in due time. That's how they feel. Justice. They feel that things will go, go well in, in time. They may, for some, they feel like you're pretty on the ins on the outside, but empty on the inside. For some. Oh, they feel like you, maybe you need to go on vacation, or you need a time to break, rest. Or they feel like you're always on vacation. They want you to be nice. They want you to be nice. <laughs> yeah, and they want you to express yourself with truthfulness and free-flowing energy. So they want you to talk. They want you to communicate with them. They want you to chat, say something, get things going. They want closure, maybe. They could be in sorrow. That's how they feel about the situation. Like They could be in sorrow. And they could be also feeling a little bit moody. Or they feel like you're moody. So if they're not feeling moody, then they're feeling like you're moody. But like limited beliefs are keeping you guys from either beginning or ending it. And they could feel like this about themselves or they could feel like this about you. Like, this is something that's bugging them in their subconscious. Like, they're thinking about it a lot. Huh. All right. So, how do they feel about you? How do they feel? How do they feel about you? Oh, like you're insincere with your feelings. Or like you play games. Like you play emotional games. They can feel like you're immature in general. It could be done with the Pisces. It could be done with the Scorpio. 
but they also feel at the same time that you're very generous. So they feel like you're not sincere with all the love that you have. Like maybe you hold it back. They can also feel like maybe they depend on you. So maybe they could feel, so you could be dealing with a Virgo, could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be dealing with Scorpio. So they could feel like maybe they depend on you. There's a lot of love here. I got all cups. I got all the cups except for the Knight of Cups. So there's a lot of love here. And then the Wheel of Fortune here. So you really feel like they're blessed or you're blessed. I feel like this would be a fortunate situation to be able to give you love or for you to give them love. So you could possibly feel like it's beneficial. Could be done with a Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius. So they could be feeling this way about you. Hmm. They may be also feeling like you're someone that they can't have or like maybe they shouldn't engage. It's kind of that feeling of like feeling like they shouldn't engage. They also feel like you look down on them. Like you look at them as not stable or not good enough. Maybe that's how they look at you. Maybe that's how they feel about you. Like they feel like you maybe don't feel like they're not good enough. Like they're not stable enough or not abundant enough or like they don't have enough things going for them. Or they could feel like that's like you pretend that like you pretend to have more things going for you. But I don't really get that. Well, maybe because of the page of cups in reverse. So maybe they do could maybe they could feel that way. Maybe they could feel like you aren't doing that well for yourself. Like maybe you need them and they want to be able to give to you and they want to nurture you. But they could also feel like you play games. Like you hold back or they could be feeling like they need you, but you're still playing games and they're holding back and you're holding back, but they know you have a lot of care and concern for them. So it could be something like that. They may feel like you don't believe in your own abilities, like your creative ideas or like you don't believe in being able to express yourself. Cause that's what they want you to do. They want you to be able to express yourself and they may feel like you don't know the words to put, to put out or to say, or, you know what I mean? Like you don't know what words to put into words. I mean like what, what feelings to put into words, if that makes sense. That's how they feel. Okay. Mm. They feel full, but they feel like what you're giving them isn't much or nothing that they can work with. Cause that's what I kind of get. Like, like they feel like you have feelings but you're not giving them much to work with. Yeah, they want it, so you're a mystery to them but you're very easy to get along with. Could be done with an Aquarius. They wanna collaborate with you or wanna work with you. That's how they feel. They wanna share with you. They definitely wanna express emotions with you. All right? And they feel like all will be well, but so they could be kinda of like power one, where they could kinda of be strategizing. But this one is someone who's trying to think it through. Like they could be looking at all angles, trying to understand. And then with the 12th house, this is a digging into the subconscious. So like some, some ways that they've always believed things to be are probably ending. And some ways that, that they didn't think were real are beginning. So it's going along the lines of that. Like, you know how as a kid, we maybe believed in Santa because our parents have told us. But as we got older, we realized that mom and dad are moving differently around the winter. What's going on here? So it could be that. Like they could be observing that something is changing. And they could be feeling something about that. Like maybe it's you that's changing or they could feel like something in itself is changing, but they want you to communicate more. They want you to talk more. They could also feel like you're very good at talking. Like you're very good at it, but it kind of feels like you don't give them anything. You don't say much. You know what I mean? Like you pretend to be a bachelor, a bachelorette. Like you, be, you may be very happy alone. That's how they feel. But they also feel like, oh yeah, they feel like you have a lot of love around you. Because even with the trine and the sextile, it looks like you have a lot of love around you. But they feel like they have to work or put more energy, put more time, put more effort into it. Or they would want you to do this. Yeah, they want to nurture you. For some, they feel like you're a good mother or a great parent. Like you're very protective over the people you care about. You're very protective of children. You know what I mean? You're very protective of your family, those closest to you. You have spiritual gifts. So they feel like you have spiritual gifts and that spirit is opening a door for you. All right. Huh. So some of you are tarot readers or like Reiki masters or spiritualists. They feel like you have spiritual gifts. But they can also maybe feel like you're not using them in the best, best way. Like maybe you don't believe in them. 
That's it. Because the page comes to somebody who doesn't believe in their talents, doesn't believe in their abilities. They could be an artist, painter, poet. And they just, and when in reverse, they just don't believe in it. So they could be feeling like you don't believe in it. So this person could possibly want to nurture you. Like they could feel like it'd be more beneficial to nurture you. You know what I mean? To give you love, to help you, to be uh, assisting of you or like, because the Queen of Cups is a person who can see where you're going. She understands you. She gets you. You don't really have to say too much. Intuitively, she understands. You know what I mean? I can see you doing something over here. I see where you're trying to go, especially if you're a page of, a page of cups. Or even in reverse, if they thought it was you being the Queen of Cups and they're the page, of, the page of Cups in reverse and they see you trying to put the work and energy in, I mean, or you see them trying to put the work and energy in, they feel that you're somebody who comes in and assists them, comes in very helping, very loving, very nurturing, very giving of spirit, all right, understanding. And in my eighth, my eighth house is usually a, a house of deeds or a house of mystery, what we call it, a house of mystery, but it's also the house of um, insurance. <laughs> so maybe it's insurance, but like it's the house of, uh, of other people's property, other people's money, all right? Resources that we exchange. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's transformation from one, one, one stage to another. So like from death to, to, to like, I mean, from birth to death, you know what I mean? Or, um, from broke to poor, you know what I mean? Like maybe that, maybe that's the case. You know what I mean? Like they kind of feel like you're having a, maybe a renewal or you're transforming, but you're becoming a lot more confident. And you're becoming a lot more generous or you're, or you're a lot more giving of yourself, but they feel like you don't give to them. So, yeah, they feel like you need a vacation, though. Like you're too focused. You're too focused. Maybe you want to. If you're a man, they may feel like you're too focused on women. If you're a woman, they feel like you're too focused on having fun, adventures, um, vacationing, you know, what I mean, showing your body off. Um, you know what I mean? Like they feel like you don't really have a care in the world. That's how they feel about you. They feel like you don't have a care in the world, man or woman there. All right. But they do want to share with you. They feel like you have resources. Maybe they want to share resources with you. I think that's what the eighth house is too. Like they want to exchange resources with you. You know what I mean? So for some of you, this person is a king of cups. They want to, you know, in a queen of cups, this is a married, a married couple. So for some of you guys, you're married. So they could feel like you need them. You know what I mean? With a nine of cup and nine of pentacles in reverse, they could feel like you need them. You're very loving and they're very loving, but you need them. You have to keep them around. So they could feel this way about you. And they could feel like things are going very well between y'all, but maybe you haven't talked as much or you don't say as much as you normally do. But for others, they feel like you talk a whole lot. You know what I mean? But your voice is very healing. So they could feel this way about you. They feel... What it says, you got some big ass love coming in with a soulmate. Be open and wise to take it. So they could feel like you're a soulmate that was meant to come into their life. Or they could feel like you have um, a soulmate coming in. But I, I don't feel like they would tell you to be wise and take it. I feel like they feel like they're the soulmate and that you'd be wise to take them. You know what I mean? So I kind of feel that vibe. I really feel that way. Like they want to get along with you. They want to put some effort in because the sextile is like you get rewards for putting the work in. Trying is something that just naturally flows. So they feel like the situation could naturally flow if all they had to do was put a little bit more work in. And that's how they feel about you. Or they feel about you doing this. Like they feel like things are going well. You just need to put a little bit more effort in. Put a little bit more work in. Speak up a little bit more. Like, you know what I mean? They could feel this way. But they also just feel like you're very stable and grounded within yourself. Hmm. They like the way you dress. They like the way you dress. Uh, you know what I want to say? I think they get starstruck. If not starstruck, it's kind of like uh, amazement when they see you. Like, like an amazement. Like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? So I call it starstruck even if you're not famous or like popular. Starstruck is just like, oh, this may be the most handsome or most beautiful woman I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Or like, this person is very attractive to me. Or like, oh, you showed up. You know what I mean? So it's like that. Like that. So I don't know where you may have showed up at. Because I didn't really mean to say show up. But whatever. All right. They really feel like you're very giving. But you're very structured. And very in control of yourself. And that spirit opens doors for you. So yeah. Anyway. Pow two. Let me give you some, uh, let me give you some advice. All right, so advice. Star, believe in yourself. You are a wonder of creation. Wash away all fear and discover you are a shining star. 
Allow all around you to just be. Let go of trying to control life for the light of your soul will guide you always towards love. Remember, stars are born through explosions of love. Love illuminates all things. Never forget, you are truly a shining star. So let me give you signs again. We got Sagittarius, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Leo, Virgo, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. Yeah, that's about it. Cancer again. That's really it. All right. So, Pile 2, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nooney, and this Leo in the third house. So, Pile 3, boom. All right, so Pile 3, how do they feel about you? So, how are they feeling about you? Okay, could be done with a Sagittarius, could be done with a Virgo or a Gemini. All right, they want to socialize. They've been thinking about you. It's kind of like another pile, but you know, we shuffled it up. It's a whole another day, so we're gonna see what happens. All right, they like your philosophies. All right, they like, so I like, <laughs> okay, so it makes sense. They like the way you think. You may have big ideas, all right? Yeah, you have big ideas. Maybe they want to take a trip. This person feels like you have the same interests as them and you're very agile. All right, could be done with the Capricorn. Or a Pisces. All right, so this person wants to trust their intuition or trust how they feel about this situation. All right, they could be feeling there's abundance here and you're on their mind. All right. Now, this person maybe wants you to leave your past in the past or they want you to leave what you said about yourself or what you what was done in the past. So they maybe want to like, oh, yeah, they want to leave what was, in, what was done in the past. So how they feel about you is they want to leave it in the past, unleash like their kindest self, their gentler self. All right. They don't want to be so pessimistic. They don't want to be so... Yeah, pessimistic is how I want to kind of come off. Like, they want to be able to trust their feelings. All right? That's how they're feeling. They, they want to be able to trust their feelings. So I guess we'll get a little bit more into that. I keep using these oracles. All right, we'll use this last one, and then I'm going to go into the tarot. So how do they feel about you? They feel like you're good luck. All right? And they like the way you communicate. So they like the way you talk. That's how they feel. That you're adaptable. So you change them, or you change your mind often. Yeah, yeah. that you change your mind often. There may be conflict of who takes charge or who takes lead. Yeah, that's how they feel. They feel like they want to make a situation better or rectify a situation. Could be a Libra, could be a Scorpio. And they could feel like you maybe left, like, talk behind their back or, like, you betrayed them or... Like, maybe you said something that was a little slight, like a, like a dig. You know what I mean? So they could be feeling like... You were digging at them, all right? For some, they could feel like you're like a sibling or like a brother, like a sister, you know what I mean? Like you're like a relative to them. But they wanna be able to like feel the situation, feel their emotions. So how they feel about you is that you may be getting a lot more gentler or there may be an opposition in between trying to get you to be a lot more gentler you know, I mean, maybe they was like a, a need to rectify something that was said in the past. You know, they, they're trying to adapt to the situation. So they feel like they need to maybe come up with different ideas or a different perspective of the situation. Like maybe they need to look at it differently or maybe they need to say something differently or, you know, what I mean, but they want to leave the past in the past. So whatever happened between y'all, they want to just like let that go. All right. So how do they feel about you? How are they feeling? So, it's almost like being very te technical. Like, we're not, I don't think about anything outside of what we're doing. So, maybe this person could be very focused. So, they could maybe feel like they have to be very focused on you or like you're very focused. All right, yeah, passionate. And this person is attracted to you. But okay, because the hangman's here. So, they could possibly be like be attracted to you for superficial reasons. This could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. could be a Pisces. Uh, if you hear anything like jumping around, that's my cat. I got a kitten like a couple weeks ago. Anyway, um, so maybe that's it, like surprises. 
Like maybe you surprise them. Oh yeah, because look, with the hangman, sometimes it's about seeing people in a different perspective. Like you've always seen them maybe one way, traditionally maybe, or like what you're used to, now you see them differently. So maybe this person has become maybe aware to your attractiveness or they become aware they're attracted to you. All right, yeah, the deaf here. So it could be somebody you had an ending with. They could feel like you guys are ending or they're feeling like there's going to be something that's being, being revealed to them soon. Like sometimes I think of when I think of Scorpio, so you could be doing Scorpio, I think of taboo. So I kind of feel like maybe they also feel like there's something that's hidden between y'all or like maybe they want to keep this hidden. You know what I mean? Like maybe it's uh, sometimes this hangman is like uh, sacrificing. So it could be like maybe like wanting to sacrifice something. They may feel like they have to sacrifice. Yeah, they may have to move on from someone or they may have to like move on from the situation. So for some, they could be feeling like they have to move away from the situation. You know what I mean? Like it's too hard. It's too difficult to really get on the same page. You know what I mean? But they want to do it with love. They want to be kind about it. So they don't want to be like harsh or like rude or, you know what I mean? But for others though, I feel like they want to transition the situation because death and a six of swords and a three of swords. So they could be real, like, yeah, they're realizing something here. Now, like I said, this could be like an idea that they have on how to move the situation forward. So how they feel is like, yeah, I got like I got an idea on how to move the situation forward. So they've probably been pondering on this for a while. And it may involve maybe you sacrificing your needs or it may involve them sacrificing their needs. And that may be how they feel about it. It's like something in order for this situation to move forward, one of us has to sacrifice. You know what I mean? So that's that's how they feel about the situation. Yeah, Knight of Swords in reverse. They feel like it's like there's uh someone either has to be led astray or that they're being led astray, or they don't know how to put it into clear in clear words of how to communicate what their intention is. You know what I mean? It's like they have a vision, but maybe it could be a little bit skewed or a little bit romanticized. You know what I mean? Like it could be gassed up or played up better than what it really is. You know, and they can just be really like following on like passion and excitement. So like how they feel is like they want to pursue it, but maybe it's like a betrayal or like they want to pursue it. But like there's a difficulty getting on the same page about maybe even the vision of the relationship or there's a difficulty like agreeing on like ideas or like how to push the situation forward. You know what I mean? They can maybe be, they, be, uh, they can maybe be overly confident in a way without being realistic about what's going on in the situation. Like, you know what I mean? like overly confident to move the situation forward but not really be clear with the plan or clear with an intention could be dealing with a gemini or an aquarius but they want to be open-minded this person maybe feels isolated or feels lonely feels lonely so they could maybe feel left out or like ashamed or shy in some sense Nervous, anxiety, it's anxiety, right? Because it's like, I'm just doing this with the cards for no reason. So it's like, they want to they wanna do something, but like, what? You know what I mean? Eight of Swords, they haven't come up with any creative ideas on how to romance you. So, oh, okay. So the Nine of Cups, this is a, 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 like a lover's card. They want to romance you. So this person wants to move forward in a situation that they feel would make them happy. They feel like you would make them happy and it would make them happy to be able to either seduce you or to be able to romance you or to be able to like hold you like, you know, maybe rest. I was going to say rest up. So maybe like they need a break. This maybe somebody who works a lot then. Usually with a Capricorn, they do work a lot. So maybe this is somebody who works a lot. Third house though comes up. This could be somebody who's in your community. Could be done with a Virgo or a Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. All right, so this is somebody who also doesn't know what to say. So how they feel is like maybe they have to get you to need them or like how they feel is like they have to um, get you to feel sorry for them in some way or that, that that's what you do. They may feel like that's what you do. Like you isolate, you go away, you try to make people feel sorry for them, you try to make people depend on you or this is what this person is doing. Like they may be... Um, call like other people to their calls, but it's really out of like selfish motives. Like they make people feel bad. They tell you a story. This could be like, cause it's cups. This could be like great storytellers, people who can tell you something and they can, they can, it's not an orator. Cause we don't got like the Knight of Swords or, well, yeah, we got the Knight of Swords. So it's like orator, but this could be somebody who comes off uh, harsh. So they can maybe feel like you come off harsh or they feel like maybe they come off harsh, like too blunt, too direct. So they'd be kind of like trying to side, maybe sidestep, but it's not that. Like they, they, how they feel is like they need to be able to like, just say what okay that's what it is they want to be able to just say what's on their heart what's on their mind and, and they don't want and they want to be like not have to think about getting it wrong because you see how i'm like stumbling over it a little bit so it's like I, I don't want to get it wrong i want to be able to say it right you know so how they feel is like they want to be able to say it right all right because maybe this person is socially awkward 
or they be feel like you so you're socially awkward all right now someone here probably does if they somebody here is depending on the other all right and it mm, yeah so somebody here is depending on the other but the other may be trying to get the other person to take on like their responsibilities so they may be trying to figure out like how do they get you to feel sorry enough to take on their responsibilities or how do they how do they get you to feel sorry enough to keep being persistent you know what i mean like how do they get you like um maybe out of your comfort zone you know what i mean because they almost want to seduce you so it's like how do i get you out of your comfort zone how do i get you to open up how do i get you to be more helpful assertive or um, assertive but i wasn't thinking assertive like how do i get you to be more um supportive how do i get you to like go with my plan with my idea how i see it you know because I mean? with the hangman here and the ace of uh, ace of wands they've been thinking about this for a while so they've been planning and they've been like really like envisioning what this could be this is like a dreamer all right i'm surprised i ain't see the knight of cups but i see the queen of cups and the king of cups so this is somebody who's mature with most of their dealings they just tend to try like to manipulate to get people to do things in the way they want like they know that people have care and concern for them so this would be someone who you know, because we're like a family, then I'm gonna need you to like do this for me for the low or do this for me for cheap or like, you know, save me some money. You know what I mean? It's not a bad thing because you got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And even though they're in reverse, this is just how you would perceive it. You know what I mean? In their mind, most likely they're probably doing this with love. All right. But in their mind, they think that this is what works. Okay. So a lot of times when I see stuff like this, I know it has to do with boundaries, especially with the Two of Swords. That just means that people aren't communicating clearly they aren't really saying what's on their mind they're beating around the bush sometimes there's no ten of swords here but that was that's what that would have meant and because there's an the eight of swords here it just means that somebody hasn't really come to terms with like what's going on like they're still kind of confused or they keep ruminating all right so it's like they maybe come out of it and then they kind of go back into it so it's like they come out and they have a, like a, like a version of clarity so how do you feel it's like oh Clarity is has to do around how they feel about the situation. It's like this situation would make me happy, but it keep kind of like going back into like maybe a self doubt or like a pessimistic view or like a maybe this is all like an illusion or maybe this isn't really real. Maybe I can't really trust them. You know what I mean? Maybe they don't really like support me. Maybe they don't really get along with me. You know what I mean? Maybe they don't really need me or you know what I mean? Maybe they might like take from me or like need my resources or like so that's how they kind of feel. Like they go like in and out of it. You know what I mean? It's like an in and out of it. Like they're trying to use me, you know what I mean? So like that's how they feel, but they go in and out of that. So like with the Pisces energy here with that hangman and that, and that ace of wands, it's really like an excitement, but it's also like anxiety from so much stimulation because it's like overactive, like, oh snap, it's so much, you know what I mean? Like they could be very much attracted to you. They could be very much inspired by you. You know what I mean? They can be like, and attractive doesn't always have to be sexual, but attractive can be like something about you just draws me into you. I need to be around this person. I need to be like, focused on this person i need to get like just the vibe of this person because this person keeps me going they give me more to you know to life than just this moment you know what i mean so that's how they feel you could be dealing with a cancer but they don't really like so like like i'm saying they don't know how to put the words into words but when they do say stuff it may come off a little harsh a little blunt or it may come off a little indirect you know what i mean because like they haven't really built trust but they do have a lot of care for you up front so that's how it goes like these people have a lot of, a lot of uh I was gonna say a lot of care, like a lot of love, a lot of genuine love, right? But it just comes off as like maybe pushy, manipulative, peace offering. Someone wants to give you a present and a and a way to ask for forgiveness. So they maybe <laughs> So this may be somebody who tries to have sex with you, you know what I mean? Like or tries to like build intimacy with you as a way of like apologizing. All right. It says keep an eye on the process. So this is somebody who's chasing dreams. So this could be like a fantasy to a fantasy to them. And they feel like everything will be balanced out in due time. So justice and all. Now, this could be somebody who wants to give you a gift. Understand they want to give you the best stocking stuff ever. Now, and this is more like a sexual connotation, but it doesn't have to be sexual. All right. But it is a peace offering. So this could be like a good deal, a sweet deal, a lookout. I was going to say an appliance. I don't know where it comes from. So that's how they feel. It's like they need to give you something. They feel like they need to give you something to make this situation, you know, sweeter or make the deal sweeter. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, and that might be the manipulation because it's done with care, but it's like it's also done as a way of like keeping you because they may be clingy. So they may be like wanting you to stay around, you know, what I mean, keep you as, as, as most as they can. So, yeah, that's how I'm feeling. All right. So even if they felt like they needed to leave, this person still kind of lingers around. You know what I mean? Even with the even with the Virgo energy here, with the Hermit in reverse, they still kind of linger around. Because this is somebody who doesn't really want to go outside their comfort zone. They don't really want to experience anything new. 
You know what I mean? It's like they want to kind of like stay with maybe what's familiar, which is I'm surprised. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, this usually deals with people who are familiar. Remember how I was telling you they like family? They like family more, so they may do what they can do to manipulate to keep people around. And this is really for intention of love. It just like I said, it can come off uh, possessive or jealous in some ways, and you need to assert boundaries or be clear with them because that's where the issue is. It's like there's no talking. I mean, even if you're talking, but it's like the, the wires get crossed, the, like the signals get crossed, you know. It seems manipulative because you guys aren't really being open. That's how they feel. Now, whether this is really what's going on, I'm just telling you, all right? Like, that's what I picked up from this whole situation is that this could be going on. It's like there's a lot of feelings and emotions, and people may be playing games emotionally on each other, and they feel like this that you're doing that, or they feel like they need to do that. You know what I mean? So it's like they're seeing you from a different way, but it's like, uh... Do they need me or or they, they some of them they may feel like you need them so it kind of goes off that like the same way but it's like they feel like you need them but you're maybe not working with them or you're not supporting them or you're not being helpful or you're not showing them what like your best talents or you're not showing them your actual abilities to do things so it's like they could feel like you're not really putting in the same efforts they could feel like you don't put in the same efforts as them so yeah but it's i keep seeing this ace of wands though it's like they still feel passionate about you but I guess it's maybe because you're like a prize, a prize to be won, you know what I mean? Or there's like a prize to be won, you know what I mean? And they're trying to go after this. They maybe need you for ideas. Mm. Anyway, let me give you some advice. All right, so, oh, that was quick. Advice, judgment, let go of your fear of being judged. You are good enough. It is time to release all that you have kept safely locked away in your heart. Your true essence and potential have been restricted by structure and method for long enough. There is no right or wrong way. Just be you. Positive outcome. At this very moment, you are sowing the seeds of your future through your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes. Whether through love, fear, or indifference, you are always creating something. So remember to keep your thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes positive and you will create a positive outcome. So signs I got are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, uh, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, Gemini, Sag, Pisces, Capricorn. All right. And Cancer. All right. So, um, Paul three, that was your reading. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks for watching. Oh, for some of y'all, this person may think that you're stalling. I know that was at the end, but I just need to tell you that. They might think that you're stalling, that you have a lot of passion and desire, or that they have a lot of passion and desire. You may be like stalling them out. They may feel that way about you. All right. Anyway, Paul 3, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy, Numi, and that's Leo in the third house.